This is a 2023 Ford F-250 Platinum with the Tremor package. And let me show you this, the high output diesel engine. This is the best expensive diesel that Ford makes. And Americans said, we need more. The soul of West Virginia can own this. The soul of West Virginia. <laughs> Starting up front, this has a massive grill. When Ford redesigned the front ends of their trucks, I think they absolutely knocked it out of the park. I mean, these headlights are literally the size of a small baby. Actually, they're kind of like the size of a medium to large size baby. We also get a whole bunch of front parking sensors with these high-end diesels. They're not just workhorses anymore. You get a lot of awesome amenities. And honestly, if I'm buying a $90,000, $100,000 truck, I kind of want them. We even get a front-facing camera, which if you're taking a $90,000 diesel truck off-road, I think you want to be able to see if there's like tree stumps in front of you. So that's a super awesome feature. And they also have the painted to match front bumpers, which are just a great add-on. A lot of people have been just doing that after the fact yeah. when they buy it. It looks absolutely fantastic. Can't talk about the Tremor and not talk about the wheels and tires. Tremor package comes with upgraded rims and tires. It also comes with an upgraded suspension, a locking rear differential, and higher ground clearance for when you want to take your $90,000 truck off-road. I think you just got to have money to burn to run this thing through the middle of the Colorado Rockies. I think Ford knocked it out of the park. I mean, the, the bigger wheels and tires look absolutely fantastic. I love these kind of like military-ish gray, or like a little less bling than you would get on like a, a Lariat or a King Ranch or even just a regular Platinum. It gives it a very distinct off-road look. And the trimmer tends to ride a little softer too. Right, so that upgraded suspension is gonna help with what people call phantom body roll when you kind of come around a corner in a big diesel truck, kind of feels really stiff. The Tremor package is gonna kind of lighten that up. It's gonna float a little more. So they drive absolutely phenomenal from a very close automotive source that I have. They say they would never buy one of these without the Tremor package up. So I know what you're thinking. If I'm buying a $90,000 truck, I kind of want those electronic deployable side steps. But one thing that comes on this truck standard is these Raptor looking, almost like rock slider side steps. Just because if you're actually taking this thing off road, the last thing you want to do is break your extremely expensive, dumb automatic side step. I actually don't like them, so. I don't like them either. I, I would rather have these, and Ford always does a good job branding it a Ford, so it just, it just looks good. I think it looks But I mean, great. dude, this thing, like, you could probably put 1,000 pounds on fat, that thing. A fat guy on it? Yeah, you could definitely put a fat guy on that. They're awesome. <laughs> fat guy approved. I also like, that they have now started adding this sidestep. So gone are the days of having to step on your tire. It's just like a perfect little sidestep to get into the bed. And especially with these F-250s, they're really high from factory. Well, that's the thing too, like if you put a cap on this, you put a rooftop tent on this or something along those lines, this now becomes really nice to have, to get up and to actually access your rack up on top. I'm a huge fan of this. Coming from a guy that's an extreme off-roader, I would love one of these on my truck. Even trying just to get into the bed, and get some of those like lower toe hooks over there, you need a step to get into. So no, it's not that true. Works out perfectly. The rear end of this looks so good. It's boxed out, the lines are great. Two cameras, obviously giant platinum logo. I kind of wish this was black. Yeah, I agree. My own personal opinion. I agree. I'm not gonna freak out over it. We have obviously all of our hookups for trailering. This is obviously a lock. And then we have the multi tailgate, which has should have soft. We always leave it up locked. As I we leave it locked. Oh, there we there go. We go soft open which is amazing it also comes with this measuring tape right here which i find kind of interesting and then you know, the ford thing it's super old you have the side step which honestly you think oh i don't know if i'd ever use that and then you put one rack on the top of your truck and you honestly probably use it and then you have your plugs back here that's it's super always, nice yeah which is awesome it's awesome that manufacturers are now including that i know There's a lot of good hookups in this truck comes pre-prepped the gooseneck i mean what more could you want honestly yeah. i feel like they stole this from GMC. It's a Chevy thing for it sure. It is definitely a Chevy Because thing. the deployable one was so dumb, and I don't know if Ford did that, but some other manufacturers did Toyota that. Toyota did. This Toyota is so much did. better. That's such a better sidestep. Does it look cool when I do it like this? Yeah. <laughs> one thing Ford did really well is they didn't go crazy badging this. There's one Tremor logo right here. Remember the Shelby that we did? And you could, there was like 1,800 Shelby logos on it. At least they didn't make it so obnoxiously big. But what they did do, this is what I want to show you, is this would typically be black for the regular power stroke, but for the high output, they give you a red 6.7, which all your friends then that are driving next to you, when they see that, they just know you're better than that. And that's exactly what Ford was going for. So what really sets this apart from the standard power stroke 
is that the standard power stroke has 475 horsepower and then 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. And Americans said, we need more. So with the high output, Ford gives you 500 horsepower and 1,200 foot-pounds of torque from the factory. So for all you tuners out there that go, that's a good place to start. <laughs> this is probably your dream truck. It's insane. And honestly, I love it. This is the most American thing I've ever, I, I know a guy from Norway that was like, this truck would get taxed out the Yang if I had it here. And I say, that's the difference between you guys in America. We're just better. <laughs> this is so American and I love it. Moving to the interior, this is where, oh, the F-250 Platinum just sets itself apart. I mean, if we look at all of the beautiful features, I mean, this like soft touch on the door panel, the wood inlay here, the wood down here, platinum. The only thing, I won't lie, this yeah, why is do they put kind that of annoying. Yeah. Because I'm like scratching myself doing this. Yeah, yeah. Because like right here, like this is a seam. Yeah. And that thing's just it's annoying. Know. I'll tell you one thing, in the summertime, that'll burn you. Yeah. You'll get a nice little platinum You'll branding. Get branded right here. Just <laughs> but honestly, there are some really cool features in this truck. I mean, we can't, we can't deny this giant display. I mean, let's fire it up. So one thing about a diesel is this turns on faster than any diesel I've ever turned on. And they're so quiet. And they are literally, this sounds honestly kind of like almost like a gas. Like yeah. It's so quiet. With the tremor, you get a locking differential. Obviously you're gonna have four wheel drive, but then because it's a platinum, Heated steering wheel, cold seats, heated seats, obviously all of your nav, your backup cameras, just a little bed camera. I mean, literally, whatever you want, it's in there. And we have this wireless charging pad. We have hookups, really cool. We have a swappable cup holder. Oh, that is cool. So if you want to put your phone here, but then you're like, nah, I want to drink a beverage, shoop, slide that over, stick your beverage in. Now, my wife would love this, four cup holders. Honestly, that's how I'm going to sell it. We also have our quintessential hoagie holder that we always put in there. The hoagie holder. Yeah, it sometimes gets jammed, so make sure you put a fresh hoagie in there in case you gotta leave it in there for a few days. And then we have just a giant amount of storage. Technically you have six cup holders on-, on No, your in the console. middle. And then you have, uh, I don't know, one, two, maybe a sandwich holder. You know what would happen? You would buy this and your wife would stick 18 stainless in here. Yeah. I'm a Yeti person. I mean, giant center console. What I love that they do, and I want to tell this to more manufacturers, stop putting things in here because I'm never going to plug my phone in. I just want a giant cavern where I can lose a child because I want to be able to stick as much junk in here as possible. All my loose change. Yeah, I want to be able to stick a gun safe in here. This is amazing. One thing we can't, we got to know with the tremor, we're obviously going to get a whole bunch of auxiliary switches that we can hook up because if you want to turn this thing into a bar rig, you are welcome to. And then we have a giant pano sunroof, which this actually lets a ton of light in. When we change this, it does get significantly darker. So I do love the fact that even if I'm not a sunroof guy, I'm probably not gonna have the sunroof open, but just like opening it up provides, look you know how much darker it gets. It provides yeah. so much light. And dude, something too to note, the sound system in this thing is ridiculous. So you obviously have the door speakers here. But then up here, you have speakers. I'm pretty sure you also have speakers in the headrest. Yeah, that's right Because you even have the little, little logo there. The, so top tier premium audio. The general rule of thumb is if you cannot pronounce the company that makes the speaker system, it's typically a great speaker yeah. system. Pro trailer, I have this on mine. It's really cool. You put in like all the specs on your trailer. Not to flex or anything. Moving to the rear, this is always the most fun part. Honestly, a little tighter than I thought it would be. Really? I don't know why, but I just experienced, I figured this would just be giant. And it is giant. All the Ford cabs are pretty much the same. Yeah, honestly, I think some of the F-150s might have bigger space. I, yeah. I don't know if that's right. I don't actually know the specs in front of me, but I don't know if it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so one really cool thing I love about this, and Harrison's gonna freak out, this is really cool. I yeah, don't know why cool. it's cool. I don't know why you need it. You can stick stuff in there and it becomes a little box. I love the fact that all these fours, you can bring all this up. Like if you only have one kid going with you or no kids, like this turns into like, a massive amount of space. This is the trunk in most mid-size crossovers. I mean, that's yeah. really what it is. Yeah, you're bringing dogs or something. You yeah. just throw their dog bed here and then yeah. you're cruising. If you own four or five dogs, you could probably stick them all back here. We're going to have two chargers for USB-C and then heat. One way you can really tell if a truck is dated if it still has USB hookups because we've all moved to USB-C. And I love the fact that these are all very progressive trucks and they have changed over. Rear heated seats is amazing. And the platinum logos, I mean, they've they just done it all, honestly. Ford has, this is this is very tight stitching. This honestly gives me some BMW vibes with how tight the stitching is. And all the custom, like yeah. the little tan stitching here, the little inlay here, like 
It's really nice. They knocked it out of the park. The soft touch, like the micro suede or whatever you call that on the door. I'm sure the acoustics in here are absolutely amazing. We can't do it for monetization reasons because we make too much money on these videos. But <laughs> we would totally bump the sound system in this thing. And what you mean by make so much money, you meant to say we lose so much money in these videos. <laughs> this channel is a serious loss. <laughs> serious loss, <laughs> but it's fun. <laughs> this is a Ford F-250 Platinum Tremor package with the high output diesel engine from Ford. If you want to just say, screw the planet, I want the biggest, baddest engine out there, opt yourself for the high output. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. It's all about smiles per gallon. You're not going to be here in 200 years anyway, so who cares? This thing's amazing. Thanks a ton to Mark Martin Motors for letting us come check this thing out. We're going to take it on the highway to do some road testing. We'll be back in a few years. See you guys next time.